going to be the first one to spot a Woodstock wind chime. Me. Is there a prize for guessing first? Yes. It's a Woodstock chime. That's a Woodstock! Which one? Wind, wind chime. I think it was a Woodstock. One thing with Holly is that it's very difficult, if not impossible, to steer him away from one area of focus into another. Even though we try to redirect him to, to something else, he'd continue to research on it, continue to talk about it. So it became part of our conversation with him. In the end, he's a son. We want to make him happy. And so um, if his interest is for example, wind chimes. Well, you no, know, if he's done a great job at school, then we'll reward him by getting him a little wind chime or something. <laughs> oh, look over at that. Say hello, camera. Hello. 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 <laughs> hey. Tyler was born June 16th, uh, 2005, and he was healthy, seven pounds, four ounces, uh, had a full head of hair. We had absolutely no concerns at all. We were just uh, elated that you know, we had a little baby boy. I guess it was close to one year of age or so when one of the things that he was not doing was simple high, waving high, waving by. Our doctor did not want to alarm us, but he did indicate that if the speech delay is prolonged, then it could be a very early sign of autism. Autism is a neurological disability that has a genetic component. And so what we see with people with autism are symptoms that are created because the brain is connecting differently. Whereas all the other children would be sitting around in a circle at reading time, for example, um, Tyler be on his own in the corner, kind of in his own little world. The incidence of autism is 1 in 55, which is a, a startling statistic because people with autism are everywhere and they, they need to be appreciated for what they can contribute to the community. And this is a special place for you because you really like chimes. Yes. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> I bet. Tyler has never had the typical boy interests such as uh, action figures or cars and such. Um, at a very early age, he became interested in stars. He then moved on to bird feeders and bird houses. There was one particular time when he went for a drive with my parents and they were looking for bird feeders and they were having a little bit of difficulty finding bird feeders. So someone pointed out to Tyler, oh look Tyler, there's a wind chime. And the rest is history. In total, Tyler must have upwards of 60, 70, maybe even 100 wind chimes. Woodstock Chimes is the largest manufacturer of wind chimes in the world. And so I explained to the Woodstock Chimes that uh, Tyler had autism and he had a huge interest in wind chimes. When we heard his story, we were so moved that uh, we thought this would be uh, a really nice connection to make. Uh, we invited them down here to see um, our studio and uh, he just knocked us out with his ability to identify our product just by the sound. Tyler's a fascinating young man and he has a lot of strengths. In his case we could call it a savant skill because it's so much different than neurotypical functioning and what he's able to do is to hear the sound of the large assortment of Woodstock chimes and just by listening to it identify which chime it is which is a, a very a very unusual talent and quite a wonderful one. Tyler, yes. come on over. Okay, 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 yes. I'll go over, go. <laughs> Well, I have to admit I'm a little nervous. Normally I'd be just fine going up against an eight-year-old, but this is no ordinary eight-year-old. He knows more about my company than I think anybody does, so he's a, a really bright young lad, and uh, may the best man win. Stacy, ring the chimes. <laughs> Java. All right, my first guess would be that's a Java. It's a 
a little harder. Uh, Neptune? Neptune. <laughs> Earth. Enchantment chime. Bowie. Amazing Grace. Packet Bell Cannon. Autism chime. Or I should say Mozart. Do I have any lifelines left? Hello, Tyler. It's an Orpheus? Uh, Space Odyssey. Based on the melody from Richard Strauss's Also Sprach Zarathustra. And I dare Tyler to know that. Space Odyssey. Gregorian Alto. Bach. Pluto. It's a small one. And Habitat. Oh my God. Which one? We got you a wind chime, the chimes of Mozart. Thought maybe you'd like that. Thanks. Yeah, congratulations, young man. You did a great job. He uh, can uh, hear more than what most people hear uh, in uh, a sound because uh, he's inside of it. One thing we've done in the past is to develop products which give back. And the idea came to make a wind chime, the chimes for autism. Now, 100% of the net profits of the Chimes for Autism is going to go to research and treatment, and we're very proud of that. We still have so many unanswered questions about autism, which is why the symbol that's on the chime is the puzzle piece. I'm incredibly um, uh, touched that my son will have a little bit of peace because of finding that the autism chime raises for autism research. I don't wish that he didn't have autism because that's how we know Tyler now and I wouldn't change him for anything. It's, mm -hmm. it's who he is and we love him. So We don't know how life would be if Tyler didn't have autism. I just can't imagine that thought. <laughs> It'll be really something for me to uh, know that my son's legacy will somehow live on because of that child. Thank you.